just the adventurer I wanted to see. You look well, and you're just in time. I need a strapping assistant to help me traverse this ruin. It is less than pristine, I'll grant you. But the Dwemeric treasures within should be quite splendid. Indeed! I was conducting an ambitious experiment when my tools gave out. Someone or something ransacked this ruin some time ago. But I believe valuable power nodes and a master scepter still exist within. Perhaps you'd like to help me acquire them. Once we enter the scraps, we'll need to locate dormant Dwemer spiders. With my control rod, I'll command them to retrieve the power nodes for us. I'll need you to gallantly protect me from their more irritable brethren. I pay you for your effort. Once we head inside, we can scout out a few dormant spiders to do our bidding. Lead on, assistant. I will follow and observe. At a safe distance. Can't let any harm come to my delicate tools. You'll find me very partial to answering them. Ask away, dear adventurer. Scraps. A coarse sobriquet for an astounding ruin. My research indicates that Dwemer used this place as a manufacturer, crafting all manner of animunculi from tiny spiders to hulking centurions. Alas, someone has made a mess of it. Some scholars believe that Dwemer were able to communicate with one another over vast distances through fascinating headwear called mitres. I happen to have one in my possession, and I plan to activate it with the power nodes. I don't dare to dream that I might communicate with the lost Dwemer themselves. But if I can unravel the secrets of the mitre, I may find myself closer than any scholar has ever been to discovering the nature of their disappearance. Oh, a little of this, a little of that. Traversing more Dwemer ruins in the pursuit of knowledge and discovery, tinkering with artifacts, keeping myself out of trouble for the most part. I'm quite pleased our paths have crossed again, Assistant. We'll need Dwemer spiders to gather the nodes for us. Look for scrap piles. We might find some amidst the chaff. Keep an eye out for dormant spiders. In a ruin so thoroughly, you know, uh, ruined. They've probably taken refuge out of sight. In piles of scrap, perhaps. An excellent question! How to explain? They operate like Dwemer power cores, just on a miniature scale. They generate an extraordinary amount of energy despite their small size. Truly ingenious design, and more than sufficient for my experiment. The power nodes are stored in crystals suspended above the floor. We'll need to find inactive spiders that I can command to scale the walls and dislodge them for us. Once we have the nodes and Master Scepter, we can make our undoubtedly daring exit. Hmm. Think of it as a music conductor's baton. The tonal power contained in the mitre is overwhelming. Chaotic. The scepter modulates and unifies the tones to make them harmonious, accessible, and safe. Or safer, at any rate.
Quickly now. Search the scrap heaps for an intact spider I can convince to help us. Excellent work, Assistant. Now, let me give it orders to get us the power node. Well done, well done! Grab the power node. may take some searching. Look high and low for an inactive spider. Get the note, little one. Isn't it just magnificent how Dwemer technology endures?
Don't be afraid to be a little brutish with the dormant ones. Sometimes they need a firm touch. Why did this launch the node? Pick it up! The Master Scepter is just beyond those animunculi. Work assistant, we're done here. Let's talk outside.
good you made it out. That's certainly enough hostile Dwemer creations for one day, I should think. I trust you still have the necessary components? Wonderful! Now my experiment can continue without interruption. You make a fine assistant. I'm glad my trust in you was not misplaced. Please, take this as an expression of my gratitude. You've more than earned it. I think I'll take a moment to catch my breath. No experiment has ever been helped by a nervous disposition. In fact, a great many of them have been thwarted by it. While working with mitres, one must maintain a clear head. Now I intend to uncover the secrets of the Dwemer Mitre. Scholars bicker about its uses, but no one truly understands it. And those who have been foolish enough to try, and don one themselves, are no longer able to tell us much of anything at all. As do I, dear assistant. But for that, I must work uninterrupted. I am deeply grateful for your help, but you will have to wait for the results of my findings along with the Dwemeric scholarly community.